Welcome to your mini class, Rise and Shine, a 20 minute session today. This one is all about bringing a little brightness into our bodies, but checking in gently and kindly with ourselves, noticing how we're feeling, and then using some backbending movements to help brighten us energetically to bring a little more vibrancy into our systems. Hope you enjoy. And as always for these little 20 minute practices we're going to start lying on our backs if you've got a block today you might want to just grab that as well or a little cushion will do the job if you don't have a block so let's lie down today we're going to drop the knees open wide i've got a little bit of a focus today in our 20 minute session on brightening from within and starting in butterfly pose is a nice way to begin that process of bringing a little bit of lift to the system and getting us ready for a brighter day. So just letting your arms rest by the side of the body. Let the soles of the feet come together and close your eyes and just take a moment to land, to just arrive into your space. Pressing the pause button on any distracting thoughts, concerns or to-do lists. Allowing all these things to just sit by the side of the mat now. Giving yourself this time to be present for your practice. To be right here and right now. meandering through your body and just noticing. Perhaps there might be places holding a little tension or perhaps a sense of gripping or perhaps dullness. You might notice too where there are places feeling spacious, bright and strong today. And we set the intention of tuning in, being kind, and bringing a gentle lift to our systems today as we practice. Tuning into your breathing, being aware of those lovely expansive inhalations, being aware when you're breathing out of letting all the breath go. Noticing the little pauses that are there between the movements of the breath. Allowing the breathing to start to slow down. Watching the breathing as a witness. And then when you're ready, take a breath in. And then when you exhale, let's bring the knees together. And we're going to lift the feet off the mat, let your palms face down into the mat. And we're going to start to make some circles from the pelvis. These could be really tiny or they could be broader. They might be asymmetrical or perfectly round. You might choose to bring your knees right up and into your chest or perhaps it feels better to keep the knees further away. We're just letting the body lead you now. And then let's go in the other direction. And you might notice that your body wants to take these a slightly different way when you move the other way. Or perhaps it's exactly the same without judging any of that, just notice. And then coming back to centre now. Let's take the right hand over the right knee, your left hand to the middle of your left thigh. And we're going to extend the left leg a little and just get a sense of your shin of the left leg roughly being parallel to the floor. So let's now invite both legs in towards the chest, but we're going to press against the left thigh with the left hand. So there's a sense of resistance there, resisting the left leg coming into the thigh while guiding the right thigh into the the chest. Pressing in with the left hand, drawing in with the right. This helps us reset the SI joint. Sometimes when we sleep in strange positions we can do some interesting things to the SI joint so this is a nice one to remember in the mornings. 
And then let's take it the other way now. So left hand over the left knee, right hand to the middle of the right thigh. And then extend that right leg a little. Sense your shin being parallel to the floor. And we're going to press into the right thigh. Get a sense of both legs wanting to come into the chest. And get a sense of that resistance going on in the right side as we reset the SI on this side. And then come back to center again now. Release your feet to the floor. Let's outstretch the arms wide. And we'll take the right foot on top of the left knee now. Take a breath in here. And then when you exhale, let your knees come over to the right side. And you might like to support your right knee with your right hand and forearm. Or perhaps it's okay to let your knees come over. Perhaps you might even like to put a little bit of pressure on that right knee to get a little bit more out of the back of the left hip in this twist. You can gaze to the ceiling if you like. Or just let your gaze settle on the fingers of the left hand now. And we'll lengthen out to the ends of the fingertips as we create a little more space to breathe deeply into the left side of the chest. And as you're breathing out, sense the hip points coming together and the bottom ribs coming together as the breath leaves you, opening up into that beautiful expansive inhalation and engaging through the midline as you're breathing out. Now let your gaze settle on the fingers of the left hand if it's not there already. We'll breathe in here and then as you exhale, send your left arm into the air, crossing over the body to the right side and then send the arm back again as you breathe in. Crossing over the body as you exhale. And then when you breathe in this time, take it overhead if that feels okay, making an arc overhead as you send it back to the left side. Continuing with this, and you might choose to just take one movement, perhaps across the chest or perhaps overhead, or you might like to do a little combo of the two. See what's going on in your shoulder this morning. Let's let everything from the waist down be really quiet and still, allowing you to completely tune into the shoulder and the neck and the breathing. The next time your arm comes back to the left side, let's bring the knees back to the middle and we'll release that right foot. Let's just do a little windscreen wiper action with the knees to reset. And then we'll do the opposite. So left foot on top of the right knee now. Take a breath in there. And then when you exhale, let your knees come over to the left side. So again, perhaps it feels best to support your left knee today, particularly if your lower back's a little grouchy, or if it's okay, you might let your knees just come on over, or you might even like to put a little more into this, pressing down on the left knee a little. And we can gaze to the right, or you might gaze directly to the ceiling. We can lengthen out to the ends of the fingertips as we create a little more space in the right side of the ribcage to breathe freely and deeply and noticing that gentle engagement through the midline of the body as you're letting your breath go. Opening up into softness and expansion as you breathe in and that gentle engagement through the midline as you breathe out. And then let your gaze settle on the fingers of the right hand now. We'll breathe in here. And then as you exhale, send that arm into the air and across the body to the left side. Open the arm out wide to the right side again as you breathe in. Crossing over the body as you exhale. And then let's make an arc overhead if that feels okay for your shoulder, sending it back to the right. So as before, we keep everything from the waist down really quiet and still tuning in completely to how your shoulder is feeling this morning 
how your neck is, the gaze on the fingertips, and either having a little combo of these two arm movements or just choosing whichever is feeling like it's serving you best today. And then when you next come to your outstretched arm position, we'll meet there and we'll bring our knees back to centre now. Releasing your left foot and let your arms come back down by the side of the body. A little bit of movement with your knees to reset the spine again. And then let's set up for desk pose next. So we want a little bit of separation between the feet and let's press into the three points of support in your feet under the big toe, under the pinky and under the heel. And then when you're ready, we'll breathe in and lift the hips and the chest into the air, taking your arms overhead or wide. Begin your exhale and then gently, gently peel the spine back down to the floor, little by little returning to our starting position. Rising into the shape as you breathe in, lifting the hips and the heart high. Start to breathe out and then begin to roll down. And as you're moving through desk pose this morning, notice, are you favouring one leg or, or the other? If you are, you might try and even things up a little bit more. And notice too, as we get quite active in the feet, how that helps us then use the legs a little more to support us in the movement, rather than making this all about the lower back. The next time you come into your elevated position, let's hold there and we'll bring the arms back down by the side of the body. Let's clasp the hands behind the back if that feels okay and walk your shoulders in a little. Get really active in your feet again, pressing into those three points of support and firing up through the calves, through the thighs, the glutes, the abdominal wall. Pressing down with the back of the shoulders, the upper arms, the elbows, really feeling the load of the pose being shared quite evenly throughout the body. Take one more breath here and then start to exhale and super, super gently let yourself back down to the mat. We'll lift the legs into the air now and take happy baby. You might take a hold of your feet, your ankles, you might hold behind your calves or your thighs. But wherever you're holding, let's get some separation between the feet and really get a sense of flattening the back against the floor. Maybe you'd like a little movement. Maybe you'd like to be perfectly still. And let's just check in with the neck here as well. Maybe. Just give your head a little bit of movement to ease into the neck as well. And then when you're ready, bend your knees, return the feet to the floor, and then let's roll over and come onto all fours now, sitting up in cat pose. And if you have a block handy or a pillow, you might like to have that in front of you. So let's lengthen out now from the crown to the tailbone. Let's draw the belly in and we'll breathe in here in cash. And then as you exhale, move to cow pose, tucking the chin and tailbone under. Return to cat again now, lifting your gaze this time. And then move on to child's pose as you exhale. Come back to cat again, breathing in, finding neutral. Exhale, moving to cow pose. Return to cat again as you breathe and lift your gaze this time. And then move on to child's pose as you exhale. Come back to cat again. And then as you exhale this time, we're gonna send the right hand under the left arm and then send it up into the air, breathing in. Threading it through and under and then sending it high, breathing in. 
sending it through and under one last time and as you do it this time you can bring your head down to your block or down to your mat inching the fingers of the left hand further away from the body inching the fingers of the right hand a little further away so we're getting a twist through the upper back here and notice if your hips have swung around to the left side if they have you might bring them back to center just a little And then when you're ready, come back to your cat shape again. We'll breathe in here in cat. And then as you exhale, send your left hand through and under the right arm. Send the arm high as you breathe in. Threading it through and under, exhaling. Sending it high as you breathe in. And the one last time, threading it through and under, and then resting your head down on your block or your mat. Inch the fingers of the right hand away from the body. Inch the fingers of the left hand away from the body, getting a little more twist in the upper back. And notice again, have your hips swung around to the right. If they have, let's coax them back to the midline a little. And then from here, return to your cat pose again. And take an exhale to child's pose. Let all your breath go. Come all the way up onto your knees as you breathe in. Next, raising your arms high. As you exhale, let's take a twist to one side, opening the arms wide. Raise your arms high, breathing in. And then twist to the other side. Raise your arms up again, breathing in. Float your hands down to the mat smoothly and gently, returning to your cat pose and really lengthening out here. Exhale to child's pose, let all your breath go. Come all the way up onto your knees now, raising the arms high. And then as you exhale, let's sweep the arms behind the body, letting them rest at the back of the pelvis in a camel pose modification. We're going to lift the heart now, lengthen through the back of the neck rather than dropping the head back. Open up through the throat and take this little back bend position as a way of inviting vibrancy into your system today. Raise your arms up, taking a neutral gaze in front of you. Let's float the hands down to the mat and then move to downward dog from here. Having a little walk out, a little play as you ease your way into the shape. Lifting the hips high, softening into the elbows and knees and bringing your neck in line with the rest of the spine. When you're ready, let's walk the feet towards the hands, coming into a forward fold. We'll take a half lift on the next inhalation and then fold as you exhale. Come all the way to standing now, bringing your arms wide, welcoming the day ahead. Exhale, bring the hands into the heart. Coming into chair pose, our half squat, and just having a little play with your foundations, finding your center of gravity. Lengthen up through the spine. Breathe in now and open the arms wide, welcoming the day ahead. Exhale, hands to heart as you honor yourself. Opening up again, breathing in, welcoming vitality into your system. Hands to heart as you come out. Take one more round. Open the arms wide as you come to standing now. And then bring your hands into the heart. Softening your gaze or closing your eyes now. Noticing your feet making contact with the earth. Notice the crown floating over the heart, the heart over the tailbone tailbone over the earth. 
Be present to the subtle flow of prana through the central channel of your body. So we bring the energy centers of the body into balance and harmony. And come back to our intention, being curious, being kind, being good to yourself today as we reach for a little brightening, a little vibrancy in our systems to sustain us through the day ahead. Thank you for practicing with me this morning, everyone. Have a beautiful day ahead. Namaste.